Hey everybody, this is Charlene with SurlesCraftyWorld.com, a real store. Whew. Today, I am reaching out because they say that when you're going through something, you should reach out to your friends and family. And I have done that, but I'm going through today, y'all. Somebody stole my packages off of my front porch. And there was a Christmas present in there to me from my husband. A bead, a fancy bead board that um, he got for me. Because you guys know I love my beading now. And as I'm trying to hide it while I talk to you. I lost a tooth today. Right up front. I feel like a 10 year old. Anyway. Those that know how to pray, please pray for your girl. I, I'm numb. I'm not even worried about the stuff, per se, because I sat here and I said a prayer. You know, it's just stuff. God will bless me, you know. Um, they didn't get to take my salvation, hallelujah. They didn't get to take back the blessings that are for me. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm still breathing. I still have a house to live in. Praise God. But I'm upset. God gave us these feelings, right, when he made us. I'm up, you know, anger but sin not. I believe that's what the word says. So I'm not sinning not, but I'm angry. I'm upset that that happened to me. I feel vulnerable. Um, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because a sister know how to fight for herself. And I got too many scissors and uh, box cutters and hot glue guns and wires and all kind of stuff <laughs> around me to worry about you know stuff like that but I just you know I've been here for 16 years and never had no problems and now today you know there's this you know and I know the world's going through a lot with COVID and people losing jobs and becoming homeless and getting desperate. I mean, my detox tea was in there. What they going to do with my detox tea? Maybe they need to lose weight. I don't know. I know I need to lose weight. I know I'm getting my stuff together. Because I'm getting ready to do my green smoothies and my exercises and my detox. And taking this pill and that supplement and whatever. You know, hunkering down. And really getting it done because... I, my life has got to change for 2021. Number one, up out of this bed. Uh, I'm, I'm believing God is going to strengthen my knees and help me get up out this bed and help me get to where I need to get to get the surgery for my knees, to get my knee replacements. I'll probably have to do one in 2021 and one in 2022. Um, but yeah, I'm reaching out. This is me reaching out. Um, if you want to talk to me, I'm not going to give you my phone number over the internet, but you can hit me up at Cheryl's Crafty World at gmail.com because I could use a friend to talk to. I could use, I'd, I'd like to know that, um, it's okay for me to feel this way. I'm kind of numb. I was hot earlier. I was hot, hot but I had to calm down. Because why give the devil that energy? I'd rather get that energy praising God that he's going to make a way out of no way. That if those people took that stuff, they must have needed it more than me. Because I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason. Who knows what was going on with those packages that God said, let me get them off my daughter's doorstep. Who knows? Maybe those people needed that stuff more than me. I don't know. But, you know, I just thank the good Lord that I'm protected. I'm not hurt. Like I said, I got a home to live in. I have food to eat, clothes to wear. You know, I'm doing good. So, but I hurt. I'm hurt. You know, my husband, we have one income. My husband works. He's going to be 67 in two weeks on the 30th. And he works full-time job. And he takes care of me. He's my caregiver. And he's tired, y'all. My man is tired. He won't tell me. 
But if I'm a good wife, I can see it. I've been with him for 19 years. I can tell the man is tired. And I want to get myself together. So that I don't have to be burying him early. Because I want us to grow old together. He's a few years ahead of me. But we still have a lot of years we can have together. And so... When somebody does something like that, it takes money away from us that we didn't have to throw away. And especially at Christmas time, it hurts. So it does. it's not the stuff. It's the fact that that's money being wasted that he worked so hard for. That's what hurts me. If I'm being honest, I feel like that hurts my man. And I love him and I don't want anybody to hurt him. Okay. Cheryl's Crafty World at gmail.com. If you feel so led, love you all. Bye for now.